I'm having an audio file on my timeline and the first thing that I'm doing is I'm increasing the length of the audio channel so I can have more detailed look on the audio. Now after being familiar with what audio we are working with, we can click anywhere outside this audio file, press play and select M every time we hear the beat. When you're done setting up the markers, you can go back to them and make sure that they're on the right spot. You can do that by clicking over them with the timeline marker and seeing if they are matching the beat. If they are not on the right place, you can always grab them with a left click and drag them to the place you want them to be. Now after you set up all your markers on the beat spots, it's time to add your b-roll. And you can do that in two different ways, but first we're gonna add the intro, which is the clip from outside. So I'm getting it and I'm leaving it over the timeline and I'm leaving it in the beginning of the clip. I want this one to appear until the first beat, so I'm gonna cut it right over there using the razor or control B. And also I'm highlighting it and I'm adding a dynamic zoom, which is easing in. And now the first and the most basic way of adding a b-roll is when you're having it in your media, you can just drag it and leave it over the timeline and cut down that b-roll until the length is reaching the second mark. So I'm gonna cut when the second marker is starting and delete everything after that. And now we need to place another b-roll which is gonna be in between second and third mark. And the other way of doing it, instead of fixing it over the timeline, you can just highlight it over your media, double click it, and instead of cutting it in your timeline, you can do it right here. So I'm playing it, I'm going to the part which I want my clip to start, and then I press E on my keyboard, that is gonna determine the end point of that video. That way I'm cutting everything before that, and when I import it on the timeline, it's gonna be starting from this point. Then I'm going forward and I'm selecting O on the keyboard, that way I'm selecting the out point. And now everything in between the in point and out point is gonna be exported over the timeline as you're seeing. I'm having just a short footage from that clip. And now on my timeline I'm having just a short clip which I need to cut just a tiny bit until the next mark. That's the two ways that you can add them on the timeline. The principle is the same. And now you can take all of your other b-roll footage, leave them on the timeline and cut them until the next mark. Repeat that until it's needed. And also if you're interested in audio effects, make sure to watch this video right here. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.